Hello and good afternoon. I am finding it hard to stay sane in these dark times. So I thought I would make a video and just hadn't planned this out. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be makeup, I guess, even though I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, so um, about this shirt, I found it at Goodwill. It is the best Goodwill find ever. I found it in the men's section. How cool is this Magneto tee? This is my version of a vintage tee. I don't need ACDC, okay? I don't need Bon Jovi. All I need is Magneto. Eric, if you will. Anyways, people, anybody else stuck in the house with the human beings they created? because it's really wearing on me. And um, if I ever thought about having more children, which I didn't, and I can't, I would be rethinking that right now. Just, you know, I don't know if you're <laughs> getting a little crazy, but my kids are stuck in the room because they're not allowed to come out until they take a nap and they are choosing not to do that. So I was like, Go ahead, give me an entire day to myself. That's fine, whatever. All you have to do is take a nap, then you're gonna be free. But right now they're, well, oh, Clark's still up, Argus asleep. He finally gave it up after two hours, two hours. They have not been napping. Anyways, that's a story for another time. Today I needed them to nap because I can't, I can't take it anymore. So, jumping right in there. My skin's been screaming lately. It hates me so much. Oh, you guys, I'm beyond tired. I can't do nothing. I'm not the type. When I do nothing, I shut down completely. I've been feeling so tired, but haven't been able to take a nap. I'm just dead, just dead. I've been feeling really like, you know when you just sit around and feel pudgy because you eat a lot and don't exercise? Well, I don't eat a lot because I'm so busy all the time, but I haven't been busy, so I've been just like not even getting hungry in between meals, which is nuts because I like wait until I'm dying of starvation to eat. But lately, I've just been eating for no reason. Whew. It's gonna have to stop because I feel sick. Like seriously, I just feel sick. I used to love food so much. And now I hate food. Food is a nuisance. Coffee, amazing. Food, horrible. My inner. Today, anyways. We'll see about that. Okay, well. I'm gonna go ahead and use this foundation because I'm pale as crap right now. It's the, um, oh, I just, I'm sorry, <laughs> the worst. I just used the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury just to give myself a little fake glow for this day. Um, I'm doing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick because why not? I'm just gonna do this and then wipe it directly off afterwards and be a bum like I was before. I've been making these homemade breakfast sandwiches every day and they're a real hit with the fam because they're amazing. My new pans that I got from my kitchen um, are really good at cooking egg and so it doesn't stick and it's all nice and soft. Well, guess what? Now my kids don't like the eggs and I'm like, really? They got so used to like the hard overcooked eggs that were stuck to the bottom of the pan that that's what they enjoy. I'm so sorry. I failed my children. I have been trying out a lot of new recipes though, since I've been stuck in the house. I'll send Alex out to get more groceries because he has an amazing immune system and he is under my strict hand washing instructions but I do not have an amazing immune system and I will catch something even if it is a mile from me. 
I say that, but really my kids just go out and get sick at school and then they cough in my face. So that's why I always get sick. I end up in the up in the middle of the night with a kid giving them an ice, not an ice bath, I don't know why I said that, a cool bath because they have a fever and I always get the sickness because I'm paranoid and I don't like, like I believe in letting a fever run, but if it gets too high, I just don't, I can't do that. You have to take a cool bath if your fever gets too bad. So I'm always up with them monitoring their fever for hours when they're sick, but they're not sick right now, thank God. God, I'm just blagging on. I haven't spoken to anyone in what feels like ages. I am the type that needs to work because I need social interaction. I'm nuts. I'm gonna put some of this Cover FX setting powder on. Set all that sticky stuff. A lot of people don't like using powder I found. The key isn't not using powder if you're dry, it's good skincare. So if you feel like you can't use powder because you're too dry, you need to change your skincare routine because your skin is too dry. If you don't set your makeup, then it doesn't stay on very well, especially if you use stick foundation. But stick foundation gives the best application, I feel like, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. So, even though we can't go outside, and nobody has a reason to wear makeup right now, I'm going to put on this Too Faced shimmery bronzer that I bring out every spring and summer because it's gorgeous, but it's not for winter. It is not a winter look. It's a very gorgeous bronzed look. Alex is probably gonna walk in while I'm doing this, but he comes wearing coffee, so what can I do? I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, by the way, my dad broke my mirror that I use for these videos, and he didn't even tell me. He broke my mirror and then sat it on my bed. And then I come in there and I find it like broken in half on my bed. And I'm like, Dad, did you break my mirror? And he goes, yeah, I did. It's like, thanks. Thanks for telling me. You don't need to give me a reason to shop, okay? I already bought a new one. <laughs> it was too big though, too big for this. So I'm gonna use this. So this is very pigmented, this bronzer. So <laughs> either use it lightly or Take it on, whatever your pleasure. Okay, cool. You see how dark it is? I have no problem with looking tan. I am gonna fix the makeup on my nose though. Okay. So I'm making chicken pot pie tonight. I don't ever make it. I don't even know if I've ever had it made for me. We're not chicken pot pie people really, but I'm gonna give it a try because my family needs vegetables and we hardly ever eat them. When I say we, I don't mean me. I'm basically a vegetarian. Sometimes I have to force them to do what they don't wanna do. Eat vegetables, take a nap, I'm the worst. Seriously. According to them, I am the actual worst. Alright. You know, just so everyone knows, it's not fun being a bummer, okay? Being a mom is not what I expected. I didn't expect to have to be the naysayer all the time, the one that's like, eat your vegetables! I don't like being that person. I want to be a fun, carefree person who travels the world constantly. But am I that person? No. I'm just Debbie Downer, a funny one. The funny dud. Okay. Life problems later. Makeup now. I'm using this Milani blush. It is Luminoso Baked Blush. Most beautiful, most gorgeous, perfect for spring and summer. Again, I don't use it during the winter or fall. 
it's a little too luminous just helps with that glow check that out super pigmented as well it looks like i have clown blush on right now but truly it's not as bad as it seems i'm just in direct sunlight put some on your nose okay cool a little too much on my nose <laughs> Now, I'm gonna do some highlight. Um, I guess I'm gonna keep using that Kim K stick, the KKW, because the other um, highlighter that I have is discontinued and I don't like to use discontinued products because why watch a makeup video if you don't possibly wanna do your makeup like that? And you can't if they use products that don't exist anymore, so. I really do love this stick. I don't always use it because sometimes I go for a powder, but every time I go, you know, for like a more wet highlight, I always use this one and it's super easy to rub in. And you know, some uh, highlights actually take your makeup off, like the layer below. I have not found that to be the case with this one. And it makes this really cool little noise. <laughs> got two doozies on my face. I don't know why. Maybe stress. Probably stress. Always stress. Alrighty. So now we have the base. Pretty much do the same thing always. Move along to the brows. I will brush them out. And then You know, it's also easy to do your brows with powder if you'd like. All you need to do is just give yourself a very light um, shade. I have to add to mine because they're not the perfect shape for me. But if you have really good shaped brows, and a lot of people I know do, then you can just, um, just find an eyeshadow that matches your brows best and just fill them in and brush through. I hate this pencil. I still have yet to make it to the store to buy more of my Anastasia one. It's not the pencil that I hate necessarily. It's just the color. It's just like this auburn color. Although the, my babysitter did say my hair was red the other day. So that's about Kind of random information at this moment. Okay. I really just did this video to show you guys my really cool Magneto t-shirt. Do do do. I need to put my brows too, they're so bad right now. That's okay. The good news about quarantine is I'm probably gonna finish my Lord of the Rings trilogy. And it's kind of crazy, I've been obsessed with Lord of the Rings since I was a kid, but I've never read the books. I just always tried to read them and I have ADHD, so I never got through any of them. But now that I have Audible, I've already almost gotten to the third one. I'm in the middle of the second one. I have to say, I like the movie a lot better. All the basic information is there. It was just, to me, put in a much better I guess he presented it in a better way, I feel like, Peter Jackson. 
Like he chose the information that was necessary, but then changed details about how it was presented. And I really, really like that. I really love every choice he made. I wouldn't have made any of them differently. All right, I think we're done with brows here. Sweet. Now, give them one last brush through. Cool. And then we're gonna do some brow gel. I'm so out of this. I'm out of everything including toilet paper. Okay. Sweet. Brows done. Okay. Let's see. What's next? I haven't done my makeup in so long. I'm forgetting how to do it. So now I'm going to do my eyeshadow, I guess, because that's the next step. Let me get a good blending brush over here. I'm trying to get this done before Alex gets home. Okay. Sorry, old makeup on there. You know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. So this fairy tale, these are so cute, you guys. This is a fairy tale storybook cosmetics. Um, you know, they have the coolest, I always wanted their Harry Potter line, but I thought that it would be bad quality because it was themed and normally themed stuff is not great quality because it's more of a gimmick. You know, I love Harry Potter. I need this Harry Potter makeup because I love makeup too, but this stuff is actually good. This, this one is the story of Red Riding Hood. How cute. So you open the book and it has the story. It's, this one's called Red, the Bad Wolf, um, the Basket, Peril, um, the Journey, and the Woods at the bottom. So cute. And with this Magneto tea that I've got going on here, I think it's going to be just the ticket. So I'm going to use this color journey down in the bottom corner. It's so pretty. And I'm going to add that to the outer corner and the crease. See that color? Yep. Okay. And then just for, I always lose the word I'm wanting to use here. I'm, for some reason I want to say congruency, but I don't think that applies to this. I just want the top and bottom to be the same and I can't think of the freaking word I want to use. So if you can help me out with that, please do. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna do that again using Journey from this palette. And get over here in the outer corner and the crease of this eye. Don't be afraid to get in there. It's the prettiest color. It's like this really beautiful peachy pink. Now here is the question. Am I gonna use the red on my lid because of this red here? Or am I gonna use this purpley gray? Because I do have purple as well going on. I'm not sure. Red might be a little much for me anyways. Okay, well, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to use Woods, which is the one a little darker than the peachy pink next door to Journey, the first color we used. Just deepen this. I don't go as far in with the second color because I'm trying to do like a ombre or a layered look. Now that we have some depth there, 
Okay. Well, uh, one more. All right. I think I'm gonna do the purple color because they're both a little off. The red's kind of rusty on my shirt and this red's pretty bright. Then the bad wolf color is kind of more gray than this purple. So that's okay. I'd rather do gray. I just don't know if I can rock the whole red eye look. Not my thing. So I'm applying this with my finger because it's quite um, creamy, this color is. The shimmers are, are very creamy. I really like it. And I can't remember if I've done a tutorial with this palette before, but it's just so gorgeous and I love it. I reach for it pretty often. Just has some really simple colors in it that I can use on my crease and then the shimmers are amazing quality. See, it's got this purpley look to it. I could add like a different purple on top to give it more. I might do that. Okay, looking good. I'm, I go pretty far back. All right, so now that we have that, wipe that color off. Sweet. So now, I'm gonna see if I have like a pretty, Hmm. Hmm. You know what would be pretty? Like a purple liner. Let's see what I got. Ooh, I know. One second, let me find it. It's this color pop from Alice. Sorry, I'm the worst. Here it is. I found it. I found it. So it's this cute little ColourPop. ColourPop um, collab with Sarah E. Sarah E, I think is how you pronounce it. Ooh. Mm. Let's see. It's not really the purple I was thinking of. It worked. Got this new one in living in color and I don't live in color so ooh look at this purple right here it's got this like really light purple color but then like this deeper dark purple ooh yes yes that is it if you don't have boxy charm get it that's why I'm out of everything because BoxyCharm delivers my makeup to my door, so I never go get any. <laughs> so this is just giving me that real true purple. I think this will be perfectly fine. It's hard to see because the light's kind of bad right now. It's super gloomy here. But I will take better pictures. Alex is here. Okay, hey, now I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm gonna do this uh, double decker lashes. The it's by Butter Lemon. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright. 
let me think. I should probably help him, but I'm in the middle of something, right? Alright. I love this mascara. It works so well. It doesn't clump, which is amazing. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm gonna add some spray. This is the Cover FX Dewy Finish. Fresh. I hope you like this.